Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Daniel 4 to 10, Proverbs 25, and Psalm 60. Let's get started. Okay, no, but you had to all peoples, nations, and languages that dwell on all the earth. Peace be multiplied to you. It has seemed good to me to show the signs and wonders that the Most High God has done for me. How great are his signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion endures from generation to generation. And I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at eight years in my house, and prospering in my place. I saw a dream that made me afraid. As I lay in bed, the fancy seven most visions of my head alarmed me. So I made a decree that all the wise men of Babylon should be brought before me, and that uh, they may be known no, to me the interpretation of the dream. And the magicians, the enchanters, the Chaldeans, and the astrologers came in, and I told them the dream, but they could not make known to me its interpretation. At last, Daniel came in before me. He who was named Belteshazzar, after the name of my God, and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And I told him the dream, saying, O Belteshazzar, chief of the uh, magicians, and because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in you, and that no mystery is too difficult for you. Tell me the visions of my dream, and I saw in their interpretation. Visions of my head, I said, I am bad, aren't well, these. I saw it, and behold, a tree in the midst of the earth, and its height was great. The tree grew and became strong, and its top reached to heaven, and it was visible to the end of the whole earth. Its leaves were beautiful, and there was fruit upon them, and it was fruit for all. And the beasts in the field found shade under it, and the birds of the heavens lived in its branches, and all flesh was fed from it. And I saw in the visions of my head, as lay in bed, and we held a watch, and the holy one came down from heaven. And he proclaimed the land, and said, Thus, chop down the tree and lop off its branches, strip off its leaves, and scatter its fruit, and the beasts flee from under it, and the birds from its branches. That leave the stump of its roots in the earth, and then with a band of iron and bronze, mid the tender grass of the field. Let him be wet with the dew of heaven, let his portion be with the beast in the grass of the earth. Let his mind be changed from man, and let it be his mind be given to him, and let some period of time pass over him. Since it's by the decree of the watchers, the decision of the right, the word of the holy ones, and in the end that the living may know that the most high was with the kingdom of men. And gives it to whom he wants it to serve the lowest of men. In this dream, I can the pretend that I saw a new, a new about to Tell me that. Tell me the interpretation, because all wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known to me the interpretation, but you are able for the spirit of the Holy Ghost in you. And Daniel, his name was Belteshazzar, and he was dismayed for a while, and his thoughts alarmed him. The king answered and said, Belteshazzar, and let not the dream of the interpretation alarm me. And then Belteshazzar answered and said, My lord, may the dream be for those who hate you for instruction for your enemies. The tree saw which grew and became strong, and so that story is to him. And it was visible to the end of the earth, it was loose of your friends for a month, and which was free for on the witch beast of the field and the found shade, and whose branch is the birds of the heavens that is your king who have grown and, and become strong, whose greatness is grown and, 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 okay, and it reaches to heaven and your dominion to the ends of the earth. <coughs> <coughs> And because the king saw a watch and a holy one coming down from heaven and say, Drop down the dream stray, that lay the stump of its roots in the earth, drop bound with a band of iron bonds, and intend to cast the field, let it be well with the dew of heaven. <coughs> <coughs> And let his portion be the beast of the field, till some periods of time pass over. It's the interpretation of the king. It is a decree of the most high. The judge will come upon, come upon my lord the king, and you shall be drawn from among men, and you shall be with the beast of the field. Shall we made to eat grass like an ox? And you shall be wet with the dew of heaven, and seven periods of time you shall pass over you, so you know that the most high rules the kingdom of men, and gives it to whom he will. And as he was commanded to leave the stuff of the roots of the tree, your kingdom shall be confirmed for you from the time that you know the heaven rules. Therefore I can you that my kingdom will be acceptable to you. Break off your sins by practicing righteousness and your iniquities, and show mercy to the past, that there may perhaps be a lengthening of your prosperity. All this came upon King of Bochenders, and the other twelve months he was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon, and the king said, Is not this great Babylon which I have built by my mighty power, as a royal residence, and not for the glory of my majesty? But the words were still in the king's mouth, and a foul voice of the king of Bochenders, and her idiot is spared. The king has departed from me, and shall be driven from my men. And you don't shall be with the beast of the field, and you shall be made to eat grass like an ox. Is that a period of time shall pass over you? And until you know that the Most High rules the king of men and gives it to whom he will. And immediately the world was fulfilled against the witches. He was driven for a moment and ate grass like an ox, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven until his hair grew as long as eagle's feathers. His nails were like bird's claws. At the end of the days, I and the witches lift my eyes to heaven, and my reason returned to me, and I blessed the Most High, and praised and honored him, and he lived forever. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom endures from generation to generation.
Well, the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing, and he does according to his will among those to come, and among the inhabitants of the earth, who have not constrained in his state, was they do what have you done, and the same time I have reason to return and as from the glory of my kingdom, I am actually his word of return to me. And I counsel that plan, my Lord's will be, and I was established in my kingdom, and a still more greatness was added to me. Now I am no pretenders of Christ and extol it on the kingdom of heaven. For those works are right and his ways are just, and in those who will him by, he is able to humble. And Belshazzar made a great feast for a thousand of his laws, and drank wine and food with a thousand. Belshazzar, when he tasted the wine, remembered that the masters of God were so that no pretenders were they taken out of the temple and drew some meat for the kingdom. King and his lords, his wives, and his concubines might drink from them. And they brought out the golden vessels that had been taken out of the temple. And as the golden Jews, and the king and his lords, his wives, and his concubines drank from them. They drank wine, they drank wine, then praised the Lord God of God, golds of gold and silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. And even the fingers of a human head appeared and were the past of the boards of the king's house. Most of the lamps in the king's sword, the hand as it were. And the king was cut on the chain, and his thoughts alarmed, and his limbs gave way, and his knees knocked together. The king called well and determined that he enchanted the chariots and the astrologers. The king declared to the wise men of Babylon, I have raised this bride and chosen me and some temper to you. She had clothes in purple and had a chain of gold around his neck. And shall read the third rule of the king. Then all the king's wise men came in, but they could not read the writing or make known to the king the interpretation. And King Babylon was greatly alarmed, and his heart changed, and his lord was in perplex. And the queen, who was the to the king and his lord, came into the banquet. Right? Make crying home. Then the king declared, Queen declared, O king, therefore, let not, let not your thoughts alarm me or your culture. There's a man in your kingdom in whom the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And the days of your father, a lion on stream, a wish like the wisdom. Like the wisdom that the gods has found him, and king to put Jedna, so your father, your father, the king, made him chief of the magicians and chairs, Chaldeans and astrologers. He was an excellent servant, no general and state to interpret things. His land rails and soul problems were found in this Daniel. And the king named Belshazzar, and I'll let Daniel be called, and he will show the interpretation. And Daniel was running before the king. The king answered and said to Daniel, He heard that Daniel, one of the exiles of Judah, whom the king, my father, brought from Judah, whom the king, my father, brought from Judah, I have heard of you that the spirit of the gods is in you, and that line of understanding of excellent was not found in you. Now the wise men and the enchanters have been brought in before me to read this one, and have given to his interpretation. Now they cannot show the interpretation of the matter. Now I have heard that you can give interpretations and we shall solve problems. Now if you can read the right and make known to his interpretations, shall I clothed with purple and have a chain of gold around your neck and shall be the third rule of the king. And Daniel answered and said before the king, Then you give me for yourself and you have your rewards to another. No less I'll read the writing to the king. And I can attend the interpretation. The king, my side God gave no pretenders, your father kingship, and greatness and glory and majesty. And because of the greatness that he gave him, all people's nations and languages trembled in favor for him. And whom he would he killed, and whom he would he kept alive, whom he would he raised up, and whom he would he humbled. Once his heart was left out, his spirit was hard, so he dealt from it, he was brought down from his guilty throne, and the glory was taken from it. He was driven from among the children of mankind, and his mind was made like that of a beast, and his dog was like with the wild donkey, and his face grass like an ox, and his body was set with a dew of heaven, and he knew that the rest of God was over the kingdom of mankind. Says over it, here you will. And you, said Belshazzar, have not humbled your heart, but you knew all this, and you lift up yourself against the Lord of Heaven. And the vessels of his hand have been brought in before you. And, and you and your Lord, your wives, and your concubines have drunk wine with them, drank wine from them. <clears throat> and yet, praise the God, the silver and the gold, the bronze, high and wooden stone, which you do not see or hear, and the God of his hand is your breath. And whose are all your words, and you have not one. And from his presence, the hand was sent, and his writing was inscribed, and his writing now is inscribed. Meaning, meaning, tackle, and parson. This is the interpretation of the man. Meaning, God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. Tackle, you being weighed into palaces, and found money. And Harris, your kingdom is divided and given to the meetings and passions. Mel shares a gate to Clinton, and Daniel was called the purple and chain of the ball, which was around his neck, and his clear acclamation was made apparent, and he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. And uh, very night, Vel shares a child in the kingdom was killed, and Darius and me, you received the king, about being about 62 years old, and placed Darius to serve the king 120 satraps, to be throughout the whole kingdom, and over the three high officials, and of whom Daniel was one, to whom these satraps should give account, so that the king might suffer no loss, and these and Daniel became distinguished above all the other high officials in that church, 
and the back of the spirit within him, and the king of the seven of the whole kingdom, and the high officials and the subjects sought to find their ground for complaint against Daniel, as we got to the kingdom, and they can find their ground for complaint or any fault, because he was faithful, and no error of law was found in him, and the even said, We shall not find any ground or, or complaint in this thing, unless we find in connection with the law and his God. Then these high officials and such as came by agreement to the king and sent to the king lived forever. All the high officials of the king and the prefects and the such as, those those of the governors that are in agreement, that the king should establish an ordinance and enforce an injunction. Now whoever makes petition to any god of man for thirty days except he, the king shall be cast into the den of lions. Now our king establish the injunctions on the document, so that it cannot be changed according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which cannot be revoked. Therefore King Darius signed the document and the injunction. And Daniel knew that the document had been signed. He went to his house where his windows in his upper chamber opened toward Jerusalem. He got down on his knees three times a day and prayed and gave things before his God. And as he had done previously, then these men came by agreement and found Daniel making petition and play before his God. Then they came and said before the king, uh, concerning the injunction of the king, 30 days. Okay, and did he not sign the injunction? Anyone who makes petition to any god or man within 30 days, except to you, okay, shall be cast into the dead of line. King of sins, if things stand fast, and if things stand fast according to the law of the medias and questions, which cannot be revoked. And they answered and said before the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles of Jew, pays no attention to you, O king, or the injunction. He gives sign, but it makes a petition three times a day. And the king, and he heard these words, there was much distress in his mind to deliver Daniel. And he labored till the sun went down to rescue him. And these men came by agreement to the king, said to the king, No, O oh, king, that is the law of the Medes and Persians. No, that no injunction or ordinance that the king establishes can be changed. And the king commanded Daniel was brought and cast into the jail lines. The king declared to Daniel, He, your God, whom you serve continually, deliver you. And his servants were laid on the earth of the dead. The king stood over the sun, seeing the earth, seeing of its lords, and nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. And the king went to his palace and slept the night fasting. No diversions were brought to him. Sleep bread. At a break of day, the king of Rosalind went haste to the break down the line. As he came near to the den where Daniel was, he fell with a tone of anguish. The king declared to Daniel, O oh, Daniel, serve not the living God, and your God, whom you serve continually, be able to deliver you from his lions. And Daniel said to the king, O oh, king, live forever. I got some his angel and shut the lions out of their name of Hope. If thou hast found the lions before, and is here before you, okay, well, I have done to her. And the king was extremely glad and clear that Daniel be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den. No kind of harm was found to him because he had trusted in his God. And the king commanded, and those men who had maliciously accused Daniel were brought and cast into the den of the each other, children and their wives. And before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions gave a pat and broke all their bones in pieces. Then King Darius wrote to all the people's nations and languages that dwell in all the earth. He is people multiplied to you, I make a decree in that, and all my rule will dominion. He got to trouble and fear before the God of Daniel. And he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed. His dominion shall be to the end. He delivers and mercies. He works signs and wonders in heavens on earth. He is soon saved Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. In the first year of Belshazzar king of Babel, Daniel saw a dream and visions of his head and his land. He wrote down the dream and told the son of the man. Then he declared, I saw my vision by night. And behold, the four winds of heaven were set away up by the great sea. The four great beasts came up out of the sea. Uh, different from one another, was like a lion and had eagle's wings. And I looked on his wings, were plucked up, and it was left off from the ground and made to stand on two feet like a man. And the mind of the man was given to him, and he held another beast, a second one like a bear. It was raised up on one side. It had three ribs in his mouth between his teeth, and was sort of alive. Devoured much flesh, and left in the same mode. And we held another like a leopard, with four wings of a bird on his back, and the beast had four heads, and the dominion was given to him. <coughs> <coughs> And after doing this, I saw the night beast, and he held a fourth beast, terrifying and dreadful and exceedingly strong, and a great iron teeth, and developed broken pieces and stamped all was left with its feet. And it was different from all the beasts that were before, and in ten horns I considered the horns, and behold, and when he came out from among the one that horn, the little one before which three of the first ones were plucked up by birds, and behold, in this form my eyes were like the eyes of a man, and that's speaking great things. As I looked, the horns were the rings were placed, and the ancient days took his seat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head was pure, was like pure wool. His son was fiery fire, and his were burning fire. The stream of fire issued that came at home before, and thousand thousand served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. Court sat and judged and the books were open, and I looked at the home and the sound of the great wind, that the horn was speaking, as I looked, the beast was killed, and his body destroyed and given over to be burned with fire. As for the rest of the beasts, their dominion was taken away, and their lives were prolonged for a certain amount of time. I saw in the night visions and behold with the cloud of heaven, he came on like a son of man, and he came to the ancient days and was presented before 
and to him was given dominion and glory in the kingdom, and that all people's nations and languages should send his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom for one that shall not be without history. And as for me, my Daniel, my spirit within me was anxious. The visions of my head are me. I approached one of the races to the man, I was the chief concerning all this. He had told this, told me at midnight during the interpretation of the things. And if all great beasts are four kings, you shall arise out of the earth. And the saints of the most high shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, forever and ever. And I desire to know the truth about the fourth beast, which is different from all the rest, and extremely terrifying, with its teeth and iron and false bones, and which the iron breaking pieces and stand walls left with its feet, and I went to him without one to him. The other one that came out and before which the river fell, the one with the eyes and the mouth and spoke great things, and the lads seemed great than its companions. So let this one be war with the saints and put it out over them, until the ancient of days came, and just was given for the saints of the Messiah, and the time came when the saints possessed the kingdom. And it says, and it's for the fourth beast. It shall be a fourth kingdom on earth. It shall be different from all the kings, and it shall devour the whole earth. It shall break down and break into pieces, and it's for the ten horns. And as this kingdom, the ten kings shall rise, and none shall arrive after, and it shall be different from the former ones. It shall put down the big kings. It shall speak wise against the Messiah. It shall wear out the saints of the Messiah. It shall things change the times of the world. They shall be given unto his land before a time, and how does it have a time? And the Lord shall soon judge it. And his dominion shall be taken by two, he continuing to shed to him. And the kingdom of dominion and the greatness of the kingdom of the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Messiah. And his kingdom shall be now lost in him. And the Lord and he shall serve in the bed. And it is the end of the matter. As for me, <coughs> Daniel, my thoughts greatly on me. And he had my color changed when I kept the matter in my heart. And there is thirty years of rain came about us, for being a pit to me and Daniel. And I said, I don't want you here to me. And I saw the vision of me. And the initial most insisted they sit down, which is the problem set on. And he said, I was in the Levi canal. And the original vision saw me hold a ram standing on the neck of the canal. It had two horns, and my horns were high. And I was higher than the other. And the high horn came up last. So the ram tried to get my and walked right inside them. No beast could stand before him. And there was no one who could rescue from his mouth. He did have a place in Calgary. And that was considered to be a male great king. On the west, across the base of the horn, and it took him to the river. And the great hand can skip the conspicuous way, horn. The dream was last. He came to the river with the two horns, with a giant being seen standing on the bank of the canoe. And he ran in and his car flew by. And his own car placed the river. He was embraced against and struck the ram and broke his two horns. And the ram had no power to stand before and he cast him down to the river and trampled on him. There was no one who could rescue the ram from his power. And the girl became exceedingly great. And when he saw the great horn was broken, Instead of it, there came four conspicuous horns from the four winds of heaven. Out of one of them came a little horn, which grew extremely great toward the south, toward the east, and toward the glorious land, and great, great, even to the host of heaven. Some of the hosts saw the stars, and threw down to the ground, and trampled on them, and became great, even as great as the prince of the host. And their regular burnt offering was taken away from them. In the place of the sanctuary was everything, and the host will be given over to it together with the regular burnt offering, so because of transgression, he will throw choose to the ground, will act. And then passed on. And he held a holy one speaking, and then other one, holy one, said to the one who spoke, And then I'll have a holy solution concerning the regular burnt offering, and the transgression that made desolate, and then the given over, and then the sanctuary, and the host to be trampled underfoot. And he said to me, For two thousand three hundred evenings and mornings, and the sanctuary shall be restored to the rightful state. And I, Daniel, had seen the vision. I sought to understand, and behold, they stood before me, one having the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of the Eli, and it was called, and they called Gabriel, made this man understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and he really came out for it, and fell on my face, where he said to me, Understand this, other man, and that the vision is from the time of the end. And then he spoke unto me, I fell into a deep sleep with my face to the ground. And he touched me and made me stand up. He said, Behold, I'll make known to you what it shall be at the latter end of the indignation. And it refers to the appointed time of the end. As for the ram, yet he saw it too. This is the king's immediate passion. And the grey is the king of Greece, and the grey horn within his eyes. And it is the first king. And for the horn that was broken in the eyes, of which four others arose. Four kings shall arise from the station with the fourth his power. And at the latter end of that kingdom, when the transgressions have great nation of them, the king of both race, one that understands which shall arise, and his power shall be great. No wise and power he shall and cause faithful destruction. Shall succeed in what he does. And his very mighty man, people are the saints. And his cunning shall make the sea prosper under his hand. And his own mighty he shall become great. Without money he shall destroy me. He shall even rise up against the prince of princes. He shall be broken by, by no human hand. With not the evenings and the mornings that has been told us to see the beings for the first many days from now. And I, Daniel, was overcome and lay sick for some days. And I rose and went about the king's business, but I was appalled by the vision to not understand. In the first year, Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, by Dusa and Medi, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, perceived in the books in the number of years. 
the, according to the words of the Lord, to Jeremiah the prophet, must pass before the end of the desolation situation, namely 70 years. Then I turned my face to the Lord, but seeking him, my prayer made please. Oh, uh, see, was fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I turned the Lord and made the confession, saying, I love the great and awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commitments. He has sent a dumb mother back to a wicked land, but about turning his sacrament and commandments. And most we have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who have spoken your name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land, to you and alone, and no longer righteousness. And the two sacrifices at this day to the men of Judah, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel. And those who are near and those who are far away, you know, blessed with you, John, is the treachery that they have committed against you. To us, I love the Lord, I open shame. To our kings, to our princes, to our fathers. And those who have sinned against you, to the Lord, I have the Lord, bless you, and forgive us. We have rebelled against you, and I have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, I have gone by walking in his laws. When you set before us by a servant of prophets, who only has changed pursuit of one and ten sight, and being turned by your words, and the cursing I have written in the Lord, most of the seven ago, has been poured out upon us. You know, as we have sinned against him, uh, we sinned against him, he has confirmed his word, you respect it, as we sinned against him, who will arrest him by ringing upon us a great calamity. Upon the whole heaven, and there is, there is no law of measure when this calamity has come upon us. Yeah, we have not enjoyed the truth. Therefore, the Lord has kept ready the calamity that has brought up upon us. And now, the Lord our God is righteous in all the works that he has done, and we have not obeyed his voice. And now, the Lord our God, who brought your people out of the land, who are you with a mighty hand and made a name for yourself, as at this day we have sinned. We have done wickedly, O Lord, going to all your righteous acts. And you are angry, and your eyes turned away from your seed, Jerusalem, and your holy hill, because of your sins. And file the iniquities of our hearts, Jerusalem, and your holy people have become violent, and all who are around us. And therefore, O God, listen to the cry of your son, and to his ways of mercy, and for our own sake, O Lord, that you can face your shame upon your sanctuary, which is desolate. And I will incline your ear and your hear, open your eyes, and see our desolation. And see that is called by your name. Do you not for we do not present our praise before you as our righteousness, but because your great mercy, O Lord, hear our Lord, forgive and Lord, pay attention and act delay not for your own sake. And my God, because you are sitting and your people are called by your name. I was speaking of pride and confessing my sin, and I said in my hate words. I was presenting my and presenting my plan before the Lord, my God, and the Holy Hero, my God. I was speaking in prayer, the men gave you who were mercy and provision of the first, came to me and swift fly at the time of the evening sacrifice. And then you understand, so you can speak with me and say, And then you have now come out to give me inside and understand. I have given you a new place where I see a world well winner. And I have come to tell it to you who you greatly love. And I will consider the word, understand the vision. Seventy weeks have decreed about your people and your holy scene. To raise the transgression to an end to sin. And in the time for iniquity. And to bring an everlasting rights and seal the vision of the prophet. And to anoint the most holy place. And I therefore understand that from the God of the Lord to restore and go to Jerusalem to the coming of the anointed Lord. Prince, they shall be seven weeks, and for sixty two weeks, they shall be built again with squares and light. But in, in a troubled time, and after sixty two weeks, and then the shall be cut off and shall have nothing. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the sea and the sanctuary. Its end shall come with war to the end, they shall be all day. The sun is not decree. They shall make a strong covenant with many for one week. And for half the week, he shall put an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the weekend, the wing of the woman shall come one who makes desolate, till the decreed end is poured out on the desolate. In the third year, Cyrus, king of Christ, the Lord was revealed to Daniel, who was named of Shazam, the Lord was chosen in the great conflict, and then stood the word and had an understanding of the vision. In those days, I had Daniel's money for three weeks. I ain't no, I ain't no delicacies, no meat or wine into my mouth, nor did I know it mine. And so I fell off for the full three weeks. On the twenty fourth day of the first month, I was sitting on the bank of the great river. I looked out my eye, and behold, a man clothed in linen, with a belt of fine gold, a face around his waist. His body was like barrel, his face like a face of lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like a gleam of burnish bronze, and his arms were like the sound of multitude. And I had Daniel a line sort of vision, and the men who were with me did not see the vision, and a great challenge fell upon them, and they fled to hide themselves, and I was left alone, so it's great vision. No strength was left in me. My radiant appearance was fearfully changed, and I retained no strength, and I heard the sound of his voice. And I heard the sound, and as I heard the sound of his voice, I fell on my face in deep sleep with my face to the ground. And behold, a hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. And he said to me, and Daniel, man greatly loved, understand the words I speak to. And stare at our for now being sent to you. When you have spoken this word to me, I stood up trembling. And he said to me, Fear not that you fall from me from the first day. He has set your heart to understand and humble yourself before your Lord. Your words have been heard, and I have come because of your voice. Princess of the King of Persia, Mr. V. Tony, one day, when Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I was left there with the kings of Persia, and came to make you understand what is to happen to your people in the land. Days. And the vision of the days yet to come. When he spoke to me according to his words, I turned my face toward the ground, 
It must be a pure one in blackness of the children of the untouchable lips, and they're openly mouth and swag. I said to him, Mr. Before we open and look in the British, and the, my recent division pains have come upon me. And I take the How can my lord servant talk with my lord? But now no strength retains in me, and no breath is left in me again, one having the appearance of a man. Touch me distinctly, and he said, I met greatly love, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. He said to me, I'll strengthen and send on my Lord. He asked strengthen me, and he said, Do you know why I've come to you? And now I uh, will turn to why he is the Prince of Persia. When I go up, you want the Prince of Greece will come. But I'll tell you what is inscribed by the Book of Truth. There is no way contest why I wish out against these except my your Prince. Proverbs 25. In these letters are the problems of Solomon, which the Meta King has executed King of Judah for a copy. It is the glory of God to conceal the things, but the glory of kings is searched and died and heaven fire and the earth went down. So the heart of kings is unsearched, will take away the joy from the silver, and smith is material for the person, will take away the remedy from the presence of the king, and if there will be a sufficient righteousness, do put yourself forward, and the king's presence will stand in place of great. Where it is better to be told, come up here, than to be put low in the presence of a noble. And not your eyes have seen, do hastily bring into court. What will you do in the end if your neighbor puts you to you? Argue your case with your neighbor himself. Himself. Do not reveal no secret for yes, you as you bring shame upon you. And your ill you have no end. The one thing they speak is like apples of gold and sitting in silver. Like gold being on your ornament of gold is a wire of paper to it, and it's listening to you. And the cold of snow in the time of the harvest is a faithful messenger to thy sin. You rehearse the soul with muscles, but the cloud of them without rain is remain embraced to give, so he does not give. And the patience of rule may be persuaded. May be persuaded. May be persuaded. And soft time will break a bone. Uh, if you have enough honey, you only enough honey. You should have a full of it in a moment. Let your foot be sound in your neighbor's house. Let your foot be sound in your neighbor's house. Neighbor's house, unless you have a full of it in Haiti. Uh, many miss false witnesses. I have this like all my lips on the shopper. I think it's just red at the time of trouble. I like a bad deal for the first look. I have a single song to a head card. It's like one who takes out the gum on the corner. And I feel a gun. So if your enemy's hungry, give him words. Give him bread to eat. If he is necessary, give him water. You'll know, heat burning coals and coals on his head. You will wood. No one's going to bring coals back. And a backbiting tongue, angry looks. Angry looks. It's better to live in the corner of a house so than with the hash out of the coals. My cold water to the thirsty soul. So his knees from the far country like a mice ring or a pillow defend. He has a righteous man who gives it away before the wicked. It is not good to eat my tongue, nor is it worse to see one's own glory. A man without self control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Psalm 60. A God, you have rejected us, breaking our defenses, you have been angry, you have restored us, you have made the land to quit, you have torn open, repaired the branches, breaches, for it taught us, you have made your people see the hard thing, you have given us wine to drink that made us stuck, you have suffered burn for those who fear you, they have blamed me for each of them, but when your beloved ones may be you have salvation to your hand, and it says, Let us reckon his holiness with the exalt touch, you will divide up shackles, and portion of the bow, veil, sackles, you is my master, and my frame is my home, Jew is my scepter, my love is my wash mess, and upon the end of my cosmic shoe, I have filled the shadow and triumph, you will bring me to the forefront, you will leave me dead, having not rejected us, you do not go, you do not go forth with God with arms. Who burns up against the foe for vain the salvation of men with God, which shall do valiantly. You will see you will tread down our foes. Now the start, they shall enter the Lord's prayer. They spray as the Father in heaven, and let the only day. You can come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You will stay our day, but you will send us to Jesus if given a difference. You will send temptation to the earth and the evil one. You will see the kingdom and the power of the glory of heaven. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.